We're in the fantasy playoffs, and everyone's roster should be set. Maybe a waiver wire pickup here and there to patch some stuff up, but we should be good to go. One stash you should look at who is rostering 45% of leagues is Jamison Williams. He had a big game last week, caught that big, long touchdown, and really had that highlight that blew up social media. If you haven't seen that play, I have that on the channel. Just roll back and check that out. He played 13 snaps last week and ran six routes. That's four more than the week prior. So we're seeing a little bit of an uptick. You never know. Maybe we can get 20 snaps this week or 25. But we are seeing an increase. One thing you really want to know here is on that touchdown play, he ran 20.33 miles per hour, ninth most among all players in week 14. That's a considerable amount, especially when you're considering he's coming off that knee injury and the fact that he was able to get behind the defense and that we know what that speed looks like from his college days, what he's shown us at Alabama. Of course, I'm on Ross St. Brown's going to get an elite workload. DJ Chark's coming along right now. He's getting a good workload. He's getting a ton of air yards. Josh Reynolds is getting worked in. He's stealing some of Khalif Raymond's work right now. And you know what? There is some room to grow. We're only two games in, and they're probably going to slowly bring him along or maybe jump him up. The one thing for the future that you may want to think about is what if something happens to Amon Ra? What if something happens to DJ Chark? What if something happens to Josh Reynolds? Then we could see an increase in targets. We could say that with a lot of players, but not many wide receiver threes or fours or fives or first round picks with 4-2 to 4-3 speed, who's electric, who has upside. So you may want to have them as a stash if you got room for it, just for that circumstance, just in case so you can have them. Maybe even playing defense with them so nobody else in your league can have them, just in case he does go off in that situation. Or later on in the year, they want to just throw them out there so they can get them some experience going into the next year. The thing about this week, they got the Jets. They're pretty decent against the pass. One of the better defenses defending the passing game as well. But one thing you want to know here is Detroit's pretty electric in the passing game. They can move it downfield. And Mike White, when he's been a quarterback, the team has been averaging 74 plays per game. One of the tops in the league in play rate. And they're also averaging 25.4 seconds between plays. So they're a little bit of a faster paced offense. This could push the game script a little bit. This could push the over a little bit, allowing more opportunities for these players. This might be more of a DJ charge scenario, but it's not outside the realm of possibilities, especially if he gets a few targets that allows him to see some air yards, that Jamison Williams does something. He's a very, very, very risky play. Really shouldn't be a play in fantasy, but he's a guy that you want to monitor, and he's a guy that you want stashed so nobody else has. And just in case... Things flip on its head. One of the wide receivers gets injured or he starts seeing more opportunity. He is a deep air yards guy with that speed, those deep targets. I could see him just sliding in there. Something happens to DJ Chart because they do kind of play a similar role with their skill sets. So that could be something that happens, but you never know. And with the fantasy playoffs the way it is, just having that one player that goes nuclear in the last game or so could help you out. He's not a recommended start or anything like that, but he is a player that you need to monitor closely because he's just doing something interesting every week. Whether it's just one target or that deep target for a touchdown, there's just something interesting coming from him every week that we got to monitor. And this is a very interesting offense. They got an interesting coach. They got an interesting running back combo. They got interesting receivers. Like this team is just Fun to monitor, fun to watch, fun to look at. And Jameson Williams is just another piece of that puzzle. And you know what? I'd be scared not the roster him just in case, especially if I got room on my bench. Obviously, if you don't have the room, don't worry about it because it's not that big of a deal. And if you're stacked, then you probably don't have the room anyways. But if you're in the running and you got room for him, you may want to have him as a stash. Most of the time, the last player on your bench sucks anyways. You can probably get by without him and having a stash play with tons of upside on there just in case it happens. But let me know your thoughts below. I want to hear your thoughts on Jameis Williams. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. It's only going to help you get through the fantasy playoffs with waiver wire ads, trade scenarios, pickups, lineup setting advice, and everything else. Also got a lot of Dynasty content, rookie draft content, NFL draft content coming your way. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.